Yo, what is good YouTube? We are back with another video. If you're not in the free Discord, go join it. It is linked down below, so let's get right into the video. The reason I want to go over breaker blocks is because breakers are one of my favorite PD arrays after fair value gaps. So we are going to go over breaker blocks because they are one of the best ways to spot when reversals are about to occur. Okay, so a bearish breaker would look something like this. When we have a high, a low, higher high, price slams through this low it will uh, come test the breaker and then it will go for a continuation so a bearish breaker would be the last down close candle before the move up sorry i have to think about it unless I, unless i'm literally looking at a chart i have to think about it so the last down close candle before the move up and then the expansion lower and now a bullish breaker would be when we have a low a high lower low and then we slam above this high, test the breaker, continue. That would be the last up close candle in the price leg that came down and swiped this low. So the reason I want to go over this is because I'm in a, it's a paper trade. Okay. I'm in a, cause I already took my trade for the day. I, I shorted up here, but I don't want to go over that trade. I am in a breaker short right now. And that gave me the idea of, Hey, let's go over what breakers would look like so right here whenever we have this swing high put in right i'm on the 15 minute chart i only trade the 5 and 15 minute so right here whenever we have this swing high put in we come up and swipe this high okay so we swipe that high and then we get this expansion below this low so this would be your true market structure shift right right at that swing low i'm actually just going to move this up to asia's uh low so right there, market structure shift, this candle comes up, taps the breaker, and the beautiful thing about breakers is that they usually will give you a quick response in the direction you are looking for. So right now we have an SMT, but this is paper. I really truly don't care. I'll move it to break even. It is what it is. So right here, whenever we create this swing high, taking out this high, we actually form an SMT with the ESO, even more added confluence. Then we have this big candle coming down through here. And you may be thinking, but we're holding this bullish 15 minute, right? We don't close the body below here, but market structure is telling us lower, right? With this candle right here, taking out this swing after creating a new high, taking out this swing low with a closure below forms our breaker block we tap the breaker and expand these are why this is why it is one of my favorite pd arrays another one we have right here we have a swing high right here right we have a high a low higher high right doesn't matter how higher high it goes right here forms our breaker right a breaker is uh, the series of candles. So right here you see we have one, two candles. That is our bearish breaker, the series of candles. So right here when we close below, did I just get filled out? Yeah, I got filled out. So right here when we close below, that forms our breaker. We tap the breaker and large expansion lower, right? These are very simple to see. You obviously need to understand which way the market wants to expand. So let's see if we can find, actually I'll go on the five minute, right? Price is fractal, happens on every single time frame. So uh, I want to find one quick because I don't want this right here. So right here, whenever we take out this swing high, right? We have a high, a low higher high right here becomes your bearish breaker right and the thing about breakers is the high that was created before the swing low so this high created this swing low this high should not be violated right whenever you take a fair value gap you usually put your stop at the highs or the candle that created the fair value gap whenever you're trading breakers the high that created the swing low should not be violated right here you see we come into that breaker we do not violate the swing high right here that created that swing low that's another good thing to understand right so let us see if we can find one more right here whenever we take out this swing high right we are in bearish order flow so the reason i'm showing you bear i'll try to find a bullish one as well right here 
you can use the wicks you can use the bodies i usually just use bodies right here this forms our breaker high low higher high doesn't matter how much it sweeps it by right you see it swipes it by a few ticks maybe a few points come up we have an imbalance right here as well boom boom right there for a value gap breaker paired that's called a unicorn setup but we're not going to get into that this is just about breakers right here's our breaker expansion lower and as you see these react very quickly okay so whenever you're trading breakers if it doesn't react quickly you're probably wrong right right here's a bullish breaker we have a swing high creating a new swing low taking out these lows this right here these candles I wouldn't use all these I'd probably just use the top we close above we hold this breaker we deliver buy side so let's find another good uh, breaker um, right here we have one but I don't want to get into that one because it's just ugly I mean we can there might right here breaker and as you see we did violate this high but no wicks oh I took this setup uh, yeah we're not going over that because I actually took that and it fuck it we'll go over it so right here whenever we take out this high we swipe this high I just don't want to keep going over bearish breakers, but we are in bearish order flow, so that's all that's popping up. Swing high, new low, new high, come down, break this low. Here's your uh, breaker block, sorry. Here's your breaker, here's your fair value gap, and then we deliver lower. So let's find one bullish breaker, and then we can call it a day. Um. That looks like news. I'm trying to hurry up so you guys don't get too bored. Let's see. Let's see. All these expansions just happen pretty quickly. Right there's a breaker that taps. Boom. Huge expansion lower. Sorry, I'm just really. I just see these quite quickly. Uh. I mean, this is a bullish breaker. So we have a swing low, swing high, a new low that's formed. Oops. Right there. Low taken. These two candles become your breaker, but I'll just measure out, the, or I'll just put this candle up here. And what do you notice? The swing low that created the swing high does not get violated. And then we go up and we deliver buy side liquidity. Oops. Buy side liquidity. So high, low. Now we have a high, then we have a lower low, expansion above, close above this high, come in, hold the breaker, hold the swing low, expansion to buy side liquidity. So, and then right here, we have a, uh, this is the last example. Right here, we have a bearish breaker. We have a high, low, higher high. This one's so much cleaner. Right here, high, low, higher high, expansion below this low, come up, tap the breaker, come back up, hit the breaker and the fair value gap again, expansion down to sell side liquidity right here. Not SMT, sell side, right there, boom. So breakers, my top after fair value gaps, all I use to trade pretty much are fair value gaps, breakers and highs and lows. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not in the free discord, go join it. It is linked down below. Other than that, I will see you guys in another video. Peace.